There are many great features of Office 365, but in this video we'll share six things we encourage you to try in Office 365 this school year. Sway, Class Notebook, Office Mix, Excel Surveys, Office 365 Groups, and Live Document Collaboration. Number 1. Sway. Microsoft Sway is a new web-based presentation tool that was recently added to our Office 365. Sway is a digital canvas right in your browser to share your ideas in many forms. Text, images, videos, files, and more. As well, you can integrate content from a variety of sources. YouTube, Twitter, Bing, any embeddable file from the internet. Sways can be created individually or collaboratively. Students and teachers are using Sway to create and share presentations, digital storytelling projects, tutorials, newsletters, digital portfolios, e-textbooks, and inter-school projects. The possibilities are endless. Creating a Sway is meant to be simple and quick dropping in pictures, YouTube videos, text, and other content is really easy. Or if you have a document or presentation, you can simply upload it to Sway and it will convert it for you. Because it runs through your web browser, sharing and collaborating with your Sway is easy. OneNote Class Notebook Creator is a setup tool that creates a notebook for you and your students that has a bunch of cool features. Uh, the first thing it creates is a content library. You can dump in files, uh, links, Im images, text, uh, handwriting, whatever you like in your content area that you'd like to share with your students. There is a collaboration space. Uh, this is an editable area for both you and your students, so class notes or pictures they want to add in, uh, notes they are collaborative back and forth conversation they want to have in that area, it's all possible. Uh, both the content library and the collaboration space can be seen by all the students. Um, students can't add anything to the content library, only the teacher can, but they can copy stuff from there, like question prompts or files. Uh, another neat feature of the class notebook is that each student in your class that you designate will have their own private notebook created. The only people that can see their notebook are you and that particular student. You can see all your student notebook areas and set up different sections for them, such as notes or quizzes or questions, and then whatever little assignments you might give them within that notebook, you'll be able to see and then mark up and give feedback on on their page. So it's a wonderful, easy to use tool that I highly encourage you to try using. On our Office 365 website, portal.office.com, you can find the class notebook through this app launcher and it will launch a very simple easy to use wizard which will guide you through several different naming areas and then your notebook will be created. Office Mix is a free add-in for PowerPoint that lets you record your PowerPoints in a very very easy way. Um, the slide recording tool is over here. In fact I've used this slide recording tool right now to record this video and let you mark up the screen with different color ink. Uh, you can add in different things into your office mixes such as interactive components including uh, short answer, quiz questions, um, animations, videos, um, even simulation activities uh, in science and math. Screen recordings are a snap to add into. You've seen some in this video. Um, to record your screen as part of your presentation as well as a whole bunch of other stuff you can add in just like you've always been able to with PowerPoint. You can save your video to uh, a video file or you can upload it to Office 365 uh, easily for your students to access. Uh, this is a wonderful tool not only for teachers to record their important content they want students to learn but it's also a great tool for students who might wish to share back what they have been learning uh, with their classmates and with the teacher. So I highly encourage you to try Office Mix. The Excel Survey tool is a really easy 
to Get Started tool for both you and all your students for creating and sharing surveys. Uh, it's a web-based interface that lets you add and edit questions really easily. Uh, lots of different question types you can add in. Um, sharing your survey is as easy as hitting the share button and getting a survey link and all your survey data is populated into an Excel graph so you can analyze the data later. Uh, getting started with an Excel survey is super easy. From your OneDrive, just click New and Excel Survey. Office 365 groups are simple and easy way for colleagues or students or classrooms to collaborate with each other. Uh, setting up a group is super easy and in a group there are a lot of great features such as a group conversation where everybody in the group can start and reply to threaded conversations kind of like halfway between a threaded discussion and an email conversation that everyone can see. Group files. Anybody in the group can upload files to share and collaborate with. Anybody in the group is allowed to open and edit those files to work with. Um, there's a group calendar such that if you have any group projects or deadlines or you'd like to stay organized in that way um, you can set up um, things in your calendar and this group calendar will overlay with all the other calendars you have on Office 365. Finally another great feature of Office 365 groups is the group notebook such that everybody in your group can have a shared OneNote which they can add content to uh, in whatever their group happens to be working on. So Office 365 groups, very simple and easy to get started. Uh, to find Office 365 groups, you can either go to your mail or your OneDrive. And on the left navigation in the middle, you'll see an area for groups and the plus. Simply hit the plus button and uh, you'll be led through a wizard to get started uh, with creating a new Office 365 group. Many teachers are using the live document collaboration features of Office 365 right in their classrooms. So imagine a scenario where you've got groups of students or individual students working on devices, uh, all that you want to collaborate towards a single document or a small group document. Um, to do that is very easy. Uh, in your OneDrive, simply choose a new file and once in your file, click share you'll be able to share either with specific individuals via their email addresses or you can create a share link um, that you can copy and paste in a virtual classroom or some shared space that your students can type in. So live document collaboration for on the fly. Uh, while you can open these documents in the full applications, I find that the most effective and best way to do the live collaboration where multiple people are working at the same time is through your web browser. So try the live document collaboration features of Office 365. So those are six of the many things you can do with Office 365 with your students. We encourage you to give these things a try. And if you require any support at your school, don't hesitate to contact the MTech team.